Game Tech Super Jam guys back with another video and in this video I wanted to take a look at Vivaldi which is a new browser that's been out on the market for a while it's free uh, it's based off of WebKit and it is very very interesting so the first thing you'll notice about this browser and you probably notice it every time you use it is how incredibly customizable it is so the settings there are an incredible number of settings so just to take you through some of them Appearance, you've got light theme, dark theme, of course, but you've also got colors in the light theme uh, or not using colors, uh, which part you want colored. It is, you can go crazy in terms of customization of how it looks. Uh, if you want the menu up top, you can delete it. If not, you know. Uh, start page, you can customize your start page a bunch. It's not as useful, in my opinion, as Google Chrome's new tab page, just because you can't actually see the thumbnails, you just see icons. Uh, tab, tabs. Again, crazy amount of customization. Uh, you can place the bar at the bottom. I don't know why you would do that, but you can. Um, this it's, it's got a side panel, just like Microsoft Edge does, except on the left side. And you've got access to bookmarks, downloads, notes, which I don't know why you would use that, and uh, anything you want to add there, actually. So you can add any website you want to the side panel as an applet. So for example, I added Google, and you can use it. Um, you can use the entire website on the side while you're doing something else. So I think that's that's pretty cool. There, I don't know why you would use this in terms of just not, like instead of having two separate windows, but it's there and it's useful sometimes, I guess. Um, but everything this thing is about is customization. Customize your browsing experience to whatever way you want to, to be. So you've got gestures uh, for new tabs and for all kinds of stuff. You got obviously keyboard shortcuts, just like you'd expect. Um, it's a little bit privacy orientated. Uh, Google isn't the default web browser. You've got a bunch of privacy stuff, uh, like do not track enabled. Uh, but overall, very, very customizable. That is the name of the game. So if that's the name of the game, how fast does it perform? Well, I can tell you it performs very fast. It's based off of WebKit. As you can see, it gets the exact same score in terms of HTML5 that Chrome does. So everything you do in Chrome is going to work f perfectly fine here. Uh, this reminds me of Opera in terms of how it looks, in terms of what its ideology is, except just customization. Now in terms of extensions, it actually uses Chrome's extensions because it's based off of Chrome. And what that does is it allows you to get a ridiculous amount of extensions and even more customizability. So as you can see, you can get any extension you really want. Um, and it doesn't even notice that it's not Chrome. So this thing, this browser is built to compete with Chrome. Uh, it's lightweight, I can tell you. It doesn't use much RAM. Uh, by the way, stay tuned for a comparison against Chrome and Firefox. That is coming up very soon, so subscribe for that. But this thing, uh, it's fast, it's customizable, and um, it's got extensions. It's got a ridiculous amount of extensions just because it has access to the Chrome extension library. So I don't really see a downside to this browser, but I also don't see as much utility in separating it from Firefox and Chrome. Yes, you can customize it a lot. It's lightweight, but it's very similar to Chrome. Extensions, you, it's incredibly similar. Um, I, I suppose the advantage are these the panels and just the customizability f without needing themes, for example. Uh, but I will be comparing these two browsers, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.